Welcome back to Just Scribble for another setup video. Today we are going to check out my 2024 Sterling Ink N2 Compact Full Year Planner. This is my second week's size planner setup video. The first one was on my Perfective Paper Planner, which is this planner here. And I did explain a little bit in this video that I am using a variety of everyday carries during 2024. I'm allowing myself to change up my everyday carry during 2024 based on my needs and wants that week. So I can try out some different planners and kind of figure out which ones are my favorite. I can share some different planners with you guys and just kind of have fun with some planners that I fell in love with that launched for 2024. So I am going to be doing a full everyday carry extension planner video where I'm going to talk in more detail about how I'm going to manage the different everyday carry planners that I have and all the different options that I have for 2024 for an EDC planner. But three of the planners are week size planners, one of which is the Sterling Ink, one of which is Perfected Paper, and one of which is RSTL. And I have all three of those set up, and so I am doing setup videos for each one of them so that I can share my setups with you guys. Each one of these planners has a distinctly different weekly layout, and I decided to do the setup of each one of them distinctly different as well. The first one that I shared was Perfected Paper, so we'll link that in the cards up above so you can check that out. But this one is about my Sterling Ink week's size, or N2 planner. I I do have it in a sterling ink cover which i know is causing some glare and i apologize for that they had issues with their covers and they shrunk a bunch in their storage this summer even though i did heat it and stretch it and i have kind of massaged it on here and everything it's not 100 what i would like it's still pulling a little bit so i may actually end up changing out this clear cover and putting a different clear cover on it but i'm not 100 sure so since i showed this in my perfective paper i did want to show this in this video the Sterling Ink Common Planner is basically the exact same size. This is in a clear cover, obviously, but you can see it's, it's basically the exact same size as a Hobonichi Weeks, but the page size is bigger. There's no lip edge to the planner itself, and then it is thicker because it does have more daily or notes pages in the back than the Hobonichi Weeks. This is the compact. So this is the skinny one that's the size of a half year notebook from Sterling Ink. So it's a full year planner in there, but it's the size of a half year notebook. So when you first open it up, I kept it kind of simple. I haven't put anything over here. I actually did, I was wearing red, I was wearing red nail polish, actually not this polish, a different polish when I was doing a setup and I got some polish there, but I haven't put anything on this side. I don't know if I'm gonna put a sticker here. I may actually tuck in like a photo of our family or something. So I left this side blank. And then on the right hand side, I took a piece of acetate from my Josephine Bow Designs Advent. It's this beautiful floral, acetate and it, it's so nice it feels so good so i cut a piece and i tipped that here to kind of cover this page and that's my opening page and then i put the 2024 sticker that came with that advent from josephine bow designs and i stuck that there and then when you turn that page you have the page that's kind of stuck here to the cardstock page and i put the planner belongs to sticker from that advent box here and actually while we're here let me put my name sticker on it. So I could definitely just write my name on here, but I have name stickers from Karina Loves to Plan from when she first opened her sticker shop and I want to use those. So I'm gonna use this one because I feel like it's the right size. This is on paper, but I don't mind that it's not transparent. Now my name is there. So there I have my little nameplate sticker. And then the next page is your yearly overview page. I actually thought about just gluing this page because I really rarely use these pages in any of my planners. And in my everyday carry, I don't know that I would use this ever in any of them. Partly because our main planner, our everything planner is at home and everything that I would need to track is in there. And this is just kind of a mirror image of all of that. And partly because I don't find these pages very useful and I don't tend to flip back to them and refer to them. But I decided instead of gluing it, I would just make it pretty. So I did add washi. This is from that same Josephine Bow Design Advent. So I added the washi here. It has like hollow on it and it matches that acetate. And then at the bottom, I put this swirl washi also from that Advent. And I just kind of added washi just to make it pretty. Like I said, I will probably Probably never use this page but at least it looks pretty and then when you flip the page it's two blank grid pages and before I forget I do have a full like unboxing and review and everything on the sterling ink common planners for 2024 so I'll link that in the cards of above but you get two blank grid pages and I decided to use more of the stickers from that advent so here I have my word of the year sticker 
which has that same hollow foiling and the florals. And then I used some letter stickers from the Happy Planner to put my word of the year, which is achieve. And then I put a washi here also from that advent. And then down here, I put the goals for 2024 sticker. I haven't written on this yet, obviously, but I think I'm gonna put like my main, like big goal for 2024 there. Then after that, you have the actual goal pages that are in the Sterling Ink Common Planners. Again, because this isn't my main planner and because this is really just a nice organized way to have my to-do lists and appointments and places for notes with me on the go, I don't expect that I'm gonna use these goal pages in this planner in 2024. But I once again, just added a little bit of washi just to make it pretty. So that washi is from the advent box. When you turn those pages, you get to your quarterly tracking pages. Again, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna use these tracking pages because I won't be using this planner all year long or necessarily in any sort of consistent way. It'll just be when I want to use it or when it fits into what I need. But I did wanna go ahead and set it up in case this ended up being the planner that I fell in love with that I stuck with the most. So in the advent box that we got from Josephine Bow Designs, we get we did get these monthly stickers and they were so pretty. They matched the rest of the stuff in the box and they have the beautiful holographic. So I covered up the months that were here. So it did say January, February, and March just in a font similar to this. And I covered it with these stickers to kind of make that pop. I did nothing on the side, I left it plain. If I want to add something, I'll go back and I'll add some of this same washi down at the bottom. But I kind of liked that each page or like each section had its own distinct deco. So I liked that this had the washi at the bottom and then this had the stickers here. I do have tabs at the top. So this is the tracker tab. And so I have that marked here. These are from SMCO. I do have an unboxing of these tabs and some others. So I'll put a link up above. So I do have trackers and then a monthly tab, a weekly tab and a notes tab across the top. So I can easily flip to the sections in this planner. And those are from the monthly tab set that I used for the month tabs in this planner. So the January through December monthly tabs here are from that same set. And these are on like a nice thick matte acetate. I just love them. So I have a little trackers tab there and these are the quarterly pages. So I just added those monthly stickers for a little bit of decor and I think it looks so good. I'm so in love with it. And then when you flip the page from there, you go straight into the monthlies. So I did add the monthly tab at the top. I added it on this December monthly, even though like I'm not using this because it's from 2023. I added it there just so it was easy for me to find the monthlies and it wasn't distracting me from the actual months that I was using. But I didn't tab this actual monthly like with a December tab because I didn't use it because it's for last year or for this year that's going to be last year. But I did decide to add a little bit of washi the same way that I did the rest of the monthlies, which I'm gonna show you in a second, just so that it would look kind of complete. I don't know what I'm gonna do in this page. In most of my planners, I backfill that previous year's month just so that I can kind of play with the planner layout and have a completed planner. But I don't really have a need to do that in an everyday carry planner like this. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for. I may use this for some sort of collection or for notes, or I may just leave it like this, but it did add washi just so it'd be consistently decorated like the rest of my months or semi-consistent as you'll see in a second. And when you flip that page, you go to January. I did pre-decorate as I do in all of my planners, all of the monthly spreads for the entire year. That way, when anything comes up, I don't hesitate to write those plans down. And if I want to color code something, I already know what color to use to mark that color coding. I kept the monthly decor or the way I set up the monthlies in this planner very simple. I just kind of felt it matched the vibe of the Josephine Bow Design Advent that kind of inspired the setup of this planner. And so what I did was I added a strip of washi, all of the washi, I think all of it, maybe one is not, but I'm pretty sure all of it. All of the washi is from Mandy Lynn Plans from her washi subscription, which is awesome. If you guys haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. I get it every month and it's amazing. You get three rolls of washi. At least one of them has foiling. Sometimes they're seasonal. Sometimes they're not. They're absolutely stunning. So I picked washi that I thought kind of went with the month and I used that washi to put a strip down and then I added a month sticker from SMCO on top of it in a script. So for January, I picked this washi. I don't know if the foil is picking up, 
but I picked this beautiful floral that had like kind of a steel gray background and silver accents. And then I have the script on top and then I used holiday stickers from Gracie Edits. So these are on transparent. I liked the fact that they were very small and so they fit nicely in the monthly boxes and I still had enough space to put plans. I just liked that the holiday stickers had a really clean font and they were really small and sort of nondescript and they matched the black in the script of the month that I added. So that is January. I haven't put any plans into this planner yet, so everything is just like preset so that I can go back and fill it in with all the plans we already have made for 2024. So we have January and then February, March, April, May, and everyone's the same with the script on there. Most of them have foil, but not all of them. And the holiday stickers, June, July. This is the only one I'm not 100% sure is Mandelin Plans. If this isn't Mandelin Plans, I think it's Archer on Olive. I'm not, I'm just not 100%. August, September, October, November, December, and then I have January of 2025. I put the washi, oops, my pencil board fell out. <clears throat> I put the washi, but I didn't put the month on it. So just like I did December, I put the washi down to be consistent in the same way that I did all of the other months, but I didn't put that script day on there. And then after you go through all of the months, then you get to the weeklies. I put a weekly tab at the top and then the tabs that I use to tab the months of the weeklies, so dividing the weeklies into months, these are from Lexi Kylie Designs. They have gold foil on them and they're a sort of transparent sticker paper that I love. I've used these in planners in 2023 as well, and I really like them. And I thought the two different tabs worked really well together. So I have the months of my monthlies marked with SMCO tabs, and then the months of my weeklies marked Lexi like Kylie tabs. And I haven't done anything in these weeklies. I haven't added holidays. I haven't done anything. The only thing I did do is on the very first week of January, I divided the page with a little marker just because that's probably how I would use this spread. What I think I'm going, what I think I'm going to do is do a mock spread of the first week of January in all of these weekly planners so that I can share them with you guys either in a short here or a picture on the community tab and then also on Instagram just so you guys can see how the same week would look in each of the three planners. But I anticipate that I would divide it in half, so I went ahead and did that on the first week, but I haven't done it on any of the others. And I used the dots that Sterling Inc. has to divide your page in half as my guide for dividing that line. And then after all of the weeks, you go to the blank pages in the back. I just have a tab that says notes at the top, and I haven't done anything with these. I won't be using these for collections or anything like that because this is an everyday carry and I don't really have a need. It will mostly just be for notes and lists when I'm out and about. So I decided not to do anything to set them up. I would just kind of see how I use them as I go. And this page may be an index if anything that I put in here is important and I need to refer back to it. And then I did nothing in the back and that's it. Yeah, I really don't like this cover. It's it's really bothering me. So I'm most likely going to be changing out this clear cover for something different. And I may put a piece of cardstock. I have this really pretty piece of gold floral cardstock that I've kind of been itching to use. And I think because I have the gold foiling on these tabs back here, it may look really pretty on this. And I do love the green. Don't get me wrong. I think it's gorgeous. It's one of my favorite colors that she launched her planners in for 2024. This and then the mist, the blue one, those are my favorites. But I do really, really love it. But I really kind of want to use that gold cardstock. And I think it would look really nice with the tabs. But that is my setup of the N2 Compact Full Year Planner from Sterling Inc. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them down below and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.